Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video or tutorial or whatever you want to call it. Um, tonight, I am going to build, and I want to build up the rest of the, uh, the second wall here. That way I have a nice little defense going on. <laughs> defense. <laughs> oh, it's not a fence. It's a wall. <laughs> um, anyhow. Let's get started by grabbing an axe and making some palm wood. Oh, I have palm wood. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have palm wood that's stuck. We know how to take care of that. Check this out. Go to the floor. Go to the tiny. Go to rotate and turn. And I should be able to uh, oh, turn. Oh, turn. Oh, turn. Come on. Just, there we go. Grabbed it. As long as you can grab it, you're good. Hit B. Um, right there. Maniacs. So, let's see. Uh, get the end times axe over here. There you go. I also want to build up some um, some places to like store some stuff because I have ran out of room. Um, I mean, there's plenty of room, but I want to make more <laughs> rooms that can hold stuff. So, uh, oh gosh. I am all over the place tonight. There we go. Put that over there. Uh, what happened to the... There. There's the people. The people. All right. So, let's just take this and drop it off over here. This is our little build staging area right here. I should I should make this look like a like a staging area. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Like give it, uh, give it some yellow and, and black stripes right here. No? Maybe not black. We'd have to use walnut or something. Yeah, I got walnut. Sweet. I wonder how I would do... Where's wedges? <gasps> I don't have all the blueprints, do I? Oh my goodness. I might not be able to uh, to build it tonight. Oh, I guess I should probably build the large floors first. Um, let's go one, two, three. Oh, come on. Four, five. Six, seven, eight. So it's going to be eight high. Three, four, five. Uh oh, come on. Six, seven, eight. I was way off on that last one. You see that? Woo. <laughs> um, before I forget, because I told myself I was not going to forget this, a uh, huge shout out to Adam Huxley, who wrote to me and said, Hi, Coach, sorry to take advantage of being able to DM you directly, but dads do what they have to do for their kids. I agree, 100%. Um, can I have a shout out to my son? It's his eighth birthday today, and that was on the 9th. So, um, to Adam Huxley, yes, I absolutely can. And to your son, Ethan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Ethan. Happy birthday to you. There you go. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ethan. I know it's uh, it's a couple days late, but um, that's also the way that it rolled because I don't post on the weekends and, and then I record on Sunday nights and then I release on on the morning. So anyhow, happy birthday. I hope it was a wonderful day and I hope you got lots of presents and, and cake and ice cream and all kinds of good stuff. So there you go. And by all means, I would absolutely do the same thing. Uh, I have direct contact with certain people and you know what? That's, that's the beauty of being able to network with people is uh, getting that advantage. And I don't mind at all. I will absolutely shout out uh, whoever wants a shout out, or if it's your birthday, you know, do something special for you. Um, real quick, if there's anybody, and this this came to me um, from the last person who sent me one, if there's anybody who's looking for a signature or um, looking for me to sign something, you can absolutely send a um, a piece of paper or a index card or whatever you want, want me to sign send it to my P.O. box, and inside of it, um, put an, a return envelope with like your address and the stamp and ready to go, and I will absolutely take whatever you got, sign it for you, put it back in the envelope, and ship it right back to you. So if you're if you're willing to pay for the, the shipping to and from, I will give you a signature for free. Well, technically, shipping and handling is not handled by me. <laughs> so... <clears throat> 
Um, I will I will do that if you want. Just have to send it to my P.O. box. If you're looking for the P.O. address, it is in the About section of my YouTube page. Um, if there's anybody from the FCC, or sorry, the FTC? The FTC who is watching right now. My content is made for everyone, not just for kids, okay? I know that Roblox looks like a kid's game, but it is it is a sandbox. Uh, and some of the subjects I talk about, I don't expect preschoolers to understand or get. Because I talk about some big subjects. Um, suicide, politics, well, not really politics, but stuff that goes on inside the world. And just... A lot of stuff that you would deal with as a an adult, you know? But I, I explain it in a way that everyone can understand. And I also do it in a way that it's not going to offend somebody. I mean, sometimes I offend people, but, I mean, not on purpose. And when I do, I usually apologize. Usually. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's do a rotate turn and see how far away we are here. I guess we're going to need to rotate that one more time. Um, just remember, we need the the texture to go horizontal. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that all the way over here. Oh, oh, can I reach it? Hi, Code. I'm your fan. Hi, King. Smiley faces. Yay! 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 <laughs> I love fans. If you absolutely see me inside a, a game, I will fanboy over you. I'll be like, oh my god, <laughs> I got a... You like my channel, thank you. <laughs> I sub to you. <laughs> thank you. Oh, so, for those of you that didn't catch it, I did a Sunday live stream of Fortnite uh, solos, and I really enjoyed it. Um, got the Victory Royale on live stream, so you could see it. I mean, it was just one, and I played like six rounds. But, that's one of the reasons I like playing. Hi, buddy! Are you recording? Yes. Yes, I am. I am recording. But, I mean, that's... That's how it goes sometimes. And, I also, I blame part of the reason that I wasn't getting, like, all Victory Royales was because of the lag in between me trying to stream and play at the same time. Which I didn't realize, it makes a big difference. If I'm not streaming... What's that? Screeny? Screeny! Cheese! There you go, buddy. Cheese! Hold on, I'm a little closer. There we go. Cheese! Print screen. Got it. Got it. Hi, combat. Combat. Only started a week enjoy, but I enjoy your content. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Smiley face. <laughs> Can we be friends, please? I have 69,000 uh, friend requests, but can only have 200 friends. So I have a rule. Sorry. Uh, I can follow you though. Here. I'll give you a follow. If you want. He's like, yeah. <laughs> I know, everybody has to be my friend. But it's cool. All YouTubers not add his friend. I know. I, I wish it was unlimited. Because then I could do like I do in Fortnite and just add everyone. And then like all my friends or all my fans could join me. And then I could set it to like friends only join me. That'd be, that'd be pretty sweet. Boop. Uh, thank you, right, right here for, uh, subscribing. Just a reminder, if you subscribe during a video, you will appear inside the video. Uh, for those of you that are looking for my normal record times or what time I join Lump Hacking 2, it is in between the times of 9.30 p.m. Central Time to about 12 midnight. Now, tonight was an exception because I did a live stream, so it is actually 12.17. So, can we use the... Yeah, absolutely. They are asking if they could use the, uh, the bridge. I don't mind. Just be careful. If if I leave suddenly, then the bridge is gone. 
There you go. Use at your own risk. <laughs> Hold on one second. I just got in trouble. <laughs> so my son decided that he didn't want to go to sleep tonight and he has started playing on his phone, which he made a deal with me saying that uh, he would not play on his phone and if he did I was going to take it from him. But apparently I can't take it from him because that punishes Liz, my wife. Hmm. <sighs> well. Maybe I'll just take it out of his room in, at night time, and that's fine. I'll just have to take his phone, which I don't mind. I mean, he'll mind, but that's okay. Uh, for those of you who were asking about the minty axes as well, I still have eight minty axes left, and the codes are not used. I showed this on stream last night, but for those of you that didn't catch the stream, I still have eight of these, and I will be giving them away on live stream on Saturday night, Saturday night. So, minty axes, Saturday night, for everyone. Well, not for everyone, but for eight lucky people. Uh, and I think I will do a mods only draw. That way, my moderators have a fairly good chance to win eligibility for it. That'll be fun. And then huge shout out to the guys. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna mention it because I don't want them to get in trouble by policy or by corporate or whatever the case may be. But huge shout out to them. They know who they are. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. And I will be, uh, I will be trying to get more from you guys soon. <laughs> They were really cool about it, so. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I missed, I missed. Uh-oh, come on, oh, what is going on here? It's just rolling off the end. Hi, Code, hi. Okay. There we go. Oh, no, 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 it was supposed to be a one by one. Oh, poop. Oh, well. My first meeting YouTuber. Oh, nice. You've never met one before? I'm a newbie. <laughs> Code, are you recording? Yes. Smiley face. If I got Robux, I would buy your merch. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Uh oh. Lag spike. <laughs> That's going to be a really long piece of wood, isn't it? Get off of it, dude. Get off of it. Off. Please. I don't want you glitching it by accident and it going into one of these blueprints. First things first, we're going to cut this in two. And then I'm going to look to see how big these actually are. Oh my gosh. I think it's still going. Wow. This is a long boy. <laughs> True. And drop. And we'll go right here in the middle. There's one. 
We'll go one more right here. Go one more right here. And then I'm going to chop it right about here. Hopefully that's... Is that one? Yeah, there we go. We might be able to go a little bit thinner. Nope, how much is that? That's 88%. So, okay, try that one. There we go. Okay, so it's about this wide for uh, one size. Uh-oh, that one was not meant to be cut right there. Darn it. All right, put that one and that one. Mix one. That one makes one. Blink. Boink. Come on. Cut that in two. Cut that in two. Cut that one in two. That might be a little thin. Nope, it was good. A little thin, nope. Awesome. Might be chopping a little too much. There we go, sweet. So now I should be able to go E, move, and then we do rotate, turn, rotate, turn. You want to go do, do you want any cave? Uh, no, thank you. Smiley face. <laughs> Code is a hard worker. I am, for the most part. Uh, and I know I do a lot at work, at my actual job. It's just, it's not documented sometimes. And I really should. I should document everything that I do, but I don't. All last week I came home tired just from everything that I did. Come on. Is that one off? It is one off. No. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Okay. Rotate. We're going to have to do this. I'm going to have to make a an exception right here. So, hmm. I only have the fence walls. Hmm. Strange. Oh, well, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, there we go. I wonder how I'm going to get that thing out of here. I guess, uh, here, I can do this. Just jump into it real quick and then, here we go. And do two floors, tiny, and ro oh, rotate, there we go. Uh, rotate, oh, oh no. Come on, rotate, 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 rotate. <laughs> rip car. No rip car. Ooh. I just needed it out of the way so I could build. Okay. Is this uh hold on. B two large floor. I think that's the right size, right? Yeah, okay. So I should be able to put this in there. Hey look! Shacky boy two one one is a bot. Like what code? He is. He is a bot. Oh, I need to move all this stuff over there. So let's start over on that side. Move two. Oh, come on. Three. Oh, shoot. That is hard to control. Just saying. 
Can I see it from right over here? I can, but that's in the way. There we go. That's a little bit easier. And once we have it moved, oh, come on, come on. Hey, buddy. Oh, a golden toilet. Thank you. <laughs> 24 karat poop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to get that. It was a it was a Christmas present one year from Defaultio. Do 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 do. A lot of people ask me all the time, like, how do you get so much money? How do you get so many presents? This is how. Fans just come up and I basically start collecting it. <laughs> Thank you. I love the golden toilet. Toy toilet. Smiley face. Alright. Put this one right here. Oh, oh, careful. There we go. Code. Yeah, what's up? Yo. He's like, never mind. <laughs> Oops, that was off center badly. Oops, wrong one. That one. There we go. Take this axe. I don't need it. Dude, you're standing right in the... Eh. Thank you. You were the one that was standing on the uh, the thing a second ago. <laughs> Thank you for the rookie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Move. Oh no. Did he die? Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Very nice. Nice, easy, gentle build tonight. You know, nothing crazy. Uh, I did ask Defaultio about turkeys. Um, I have not heard anything. I have not seen anything yet. Um, but I am hoping that we get some this year. Wait. Is this... Hey, it is. You just use that. Get it out of the way. That way we can keep building. Building, building, building. Go with one by one. There we go. And slap that in there like that. Good deal. Should go to the end. Get stuck. And then process. Lag. <laughs> Should I eat one? Yeah, I'm totally gonna eat one. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> I love the pink candies. One, two, three. Six, seven. I think seven should do. Maybe it might be more. Might be less. Oh gosh, I can't see at all. Hey, code. I'm new. Hi. Uh, if you get the can't move bug, you do have to reset. I watched your videos yesterday. I'm inspired. <laughs> Good deal. I'm glad. Oh, can't see for poop. Silly pink candies. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. <laughs> that one was a little big. That's okay. I got one more. One more. Oh, I guess I chopped seven, didn't I? That's okay. Here, I'll take that one over here. Because I had an extra one hanging out. It's 25 minutes. Oh, gosh. Let's see here. Move. Yeah, there we go. We're good. And done. And 
Dann. Very good. I had somebody that was in the uh, the live stream yesterday, and they said that they were they really enjoyed my videos because every day they would come home after being bullied on the bus. Now, I want to give a shout out to anybody who's ever been bullied on a bus or been bullied at all. All right, and this includes parents and workers in the workforce who are getting bullied because, believe it or not. It still happens. Even after you grow up, there's sometimes that people will still bully you. It's okay. You haven't done anything wrong. It's not you. Okay? I want to make that as clear as possible. There's nothing wrong with you. You're not weird. You're... Just because they don't like your interest or just because they have a different view doesn't make them right. And I would say don't lower yourself to their level, but everybody's different and you're going to handle it in a different way. But those people, they don't know what to do with their emotions. So they use them to outlash or to, to lash out at others who might be different. I think I totally made way too many here, but that's okay here. Let's, uh, let's destroy some of these. One more. One more. There we go. And I don't think I have enough wood. How you handle it is what's most important. Because we, you and I, know how to handle our emotions. We know how to calmly rationalize the situation. And I understand that there's sometimes that the situation is intense and chaotic, but it's okay because we can use our words to discuss and talk and basically come to some kind of agreement because if you're getting bullied every day, you need to do something about it. You need to tell a teacher, you need to tell a coworker, you need to tell HR. And it's true in all situations. Now, <clears throat> there is a big difference in between cutting up with your friends and just playing around, you know? But if you honestly feel offended or if you honestly don't like what somebody's saying about you or saying around you, you have every right to say something about it. If it really doesn't make you comfortable, say something. Because that's the first step is them acknowledging that you, they're saying something that you don't approve of or that you're not comfortable with. Because if you don't tell them, they might not know and they might think, oh, it's, it's okay. So, that's gonna be a really long piece. In fact, I'm, uh, no, we're, we're gonna chop that down some. Just a little bit. And don't be embarrassed to talk and speak up. Especially if you were in an adult environment and you're getting bullied, I know it can be really hard to speak out and speak up about something. But I promise you do have a voice. <clears throat> And for those of you who have employees under you, say that you're a manager or you have a managerial role of some kind, there are very different types of people in the world, <laughs> okay? I know uh, my boss, he he has a big, big understanding of, of me. But at the same time, <laughs> I have ADHD. I have something that, like, he doesn't know how to deal with sometimes. And I, I don't, I don't think, I don't blame him, you know, at all. But I've known him for nine years now, and uh, 
we we have a good relationship as far as like everyone on the team, everyone that I work with. It's a, it's a good team. It is a good team. If you happen to know one of the people that I do work with, or if you're uh, with them, hold on, I gotta destroy that large floor. That was 107, 17%. Then uh, don't comment down below. Don't say, hey, I know them, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Just, yep, yeah, keep it to yourself. <laughs> Although it, it is something very proud to, to know someone that works with me. What's funny is my coworkers, they don't see me as code primate. They don't, they don't see me as the hacker programmer gamer dude on the internet who's a dad and has like real job stuff. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say real job because YouTube very much is a job for some people. Uh, for me myself, um, it is not sustainable. I do this as a hobby, I do this as fun, and it's something that just kind of started off of like, hey, let's see if I can I can do this better than others. And I did it in a different way. Dude, you gotta move. Combat. Dude. You got to move. You keep stepping right where I'm trying to place stuff. Family can did J can C and J family C and J your base is done nice <laughs> thanks dude <sighs> I'm not yelling at you oh you're not in trouble and you're probably watching this video right now and I just wanted to say hi <laughs> thanks for coming over to my base and hanging out with me tonight it's fun. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, gosh. I am two minutes over the 30-minute mark. If you got to get to school or if you got to get to work or something like that, turn it off right now. <laughs> get going. Because I know uh, I know some parts of the... Some areas... These aren't going to match up, are they? Oh, gosh. Hold on. We're just about done. Just about done. I'm going to make some big doors right th over there. So um, let's just do the blueprints for now. Large. And that's not going to fit. Yep. So the reason this isn't fitting is because of that over there. I did not use the same, same amount. It's at a different spot. Poop. That's okay. I'll fix it. Oh, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things. I'm supposed to go out at the end of the videos, but it's really your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. I love you guys the same. All right. Thank you for being here. I know that 75% of you aren't subscribed. Um, it'd be really awesome if you were, but I mean, I can't push for that. I mean, I could. I could totally push for that. Be like, if you're not subscribed, you don't get to view. But I, I, I don't do that. My content's for everyone. Open to anyone. I love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. Oh, I'm actually going to jump out to see if I can hear outro. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I didn't hear it. Oh, well. <gasps> outro. Thank you.